Are you having trouble in the early to mid wipe progressing to full level 2 traders because you're a filthy casual like me? Well, I've got a build that you need to see that has carried me through even just barely playing at all this wipe because I'm really waiting for armor hitbox's next wipe. Well, even without hitting full level 2 traders, you can run this SKS build, which has 0 to 4x capabilities, very controllable spammable recoil, minus that little stutter at the beginning there even at sort of mid-range like that. And of course, the also important 4x capabilities, now that everyone is running uh, magnified scopes, we're getting into the mid-wipe, and also coming in at an unbelievably cheap price that is going to make you want to run this build not only now, but also well into the late wipe as a uh, viable budget kit that is going to go up against chads and perform pretty well. Well, here's how you're going to get this SKS build to 79 vertical recoil for just 130k rubles. Your parts list is going to be as follows, minus the essentials that you're going to get off of everything here. So you're looking at 134k, but once you sell back the uh, basic chassis of the SKS, you're going to be looking at pretty close to uh, 130k. Depending on flea market prices, this can fluctuate down and up a bit. This is slightly more expensive for the suppressor than usual, which is the main thing. Uh, so you can usually get this for about 130 to 145k, depending. So take a good little look at this parts list. It's basically all of the TAPCO parts the uh, NC Star Canted from level 2 Peacekeeper, uh, the PK-06 from either the Flea Market or I believe level 1 or 2 gear, and then the rest is as follows. I won't list it all off, I'll just let you look and see. You can pretty easily pick these things up. The one thing that uh, is definitely important to note is getting the PSO-1 M2 because that's going to go for cheaper than some of the other ones. You're looking at 10k for a 4x scope that is going to allow you to, with this uh, canted give you that 0 to 4x capability. The only thing you need to make sure of in this parts list is that you are getting a OP SKS with a dovetail mount there. Um, you can grab them sometimes for a few rubles cheaper off the flea, but just to be sure, you know, you might just want to go over to Ragman and get them, or uh, Jaeger rather, for 33k rubles. The reason I'm going to be choosing this Tapco build over something like the uh, the other one, I can't even remember what it's called, but there's another SKS chassis you can run, is that this one is going to give you quite a little bit better uh, vertical recoil and is going to be definitely more spammable. Um, and versatile. So there's a couple of things you can do if you really want to get this a little bit cheaper um, to go super budget. You can replace the RK4 with one of these two grips from Peacekeeper. These are going to be about half the price of the RK4 for a very minor uh, recoil hit. You can replace the DS150 with uh, the M4 SS and uh, that's about a third of the price, but it's not really worth doing. It's going to be an ergonomics hit. It's going to be a big recoil hit. Even though it's a third of the price, definitely go with the DS150. PK06 is not worth switching out. There's no other sites that are that cheap uh, that you can put on the canted. You can go with the adapter and this suppressor, which is going to give you slightly more recoil um, and pretty much the same price. That's not worth doing either, but does look a little bit aesthetically cooler. So, you know, if you're into aesthetics, you can go with that. And that is kind of the, the nicest looking build you can get this of this thing right there. The real reason this SKS can perform so well in the mid and even late wipe is the ability to shoot PS rounds, which are super, super cheap for their ability to pen the armor people are going to be running in the mid and even late wipe for that dirt cheap price and from level 2 proper. And the other thing that's really nice about this build is the ability to toggle on the red reticle for this scope if you're shooting into darker terrain like I am right here. Gotcha, bitch. So, there you go. Use at your own leisure. This build has carried me for dirt cheap through to level 19 while playing barely at all and uh, has really, really improved my survival rate and allowed me to enjoy the game while playing a pretty casual uh, kind of experience, which is what I'm going for this wipe.